Hans, uh, tell me a little bit about your um, excellent work in protein uh, metabolism for preterm babies. Well, I don't know whether it's excellent, but um, it's great fun. That's, that's the most important thing. What we're trying to do is uh, to um, determine the exact requirement of amino acids for especially preterm infants, but also for, pre for term infants. So are you getting close? Do you, do you have a suggestion of what the optimal amino acid or protein intake might be for very preterm babies? Well, we're making progress. We are running several trials at the moment and um, there are two, basically two sides to it. One is on the amount of, of uh, amino acids that we are giving them and the other one is on the quality. And it's, it's um, very natural to think that if quality is improved, the amount, so the quantity, can be reduced. And that's exactly what we're trying to do at the moment. And I guess that's important from uh, the safety point of view because many neonatologists have been quite cautious about giving too much protein. Um, do you have an idea of how much is too much? Well, we don't know yet. We have done some studies um, with fetuses, with human fetuses. So we were studying mothers who underwent a, a lactive cesarean section um, on, on a specific day. We infused the mothers with all kinds of stable isotope labeled amino acids. That at the time of birth, we collected umbilical vein and artery uh, blood and measured umbilical blood flow. By doing so, we could estimate the amount of amino acids that were entering and leaving the fetus. And what we found was that the equivalent of around four to five grams of amino acids were utilized by the fetus. About one third was utilized for fuel as fuel and two thirds were utilized for protein synthesis. So at the moment most strategies in neonatal intensive care units are starting with uh, about two or two and a half grams of amino acids and currently we're doing studies at three and a half grams of amino acids even and, the, and these outcomes seem to be uh, promising and also the results are seemingly safe. So what are the key take home messages at the moment about protein requirements and how preterm babies should be fed? Well the key message is I think is that we should not undernourish preterm infants. They are at a very vulnerable uh, period in time that is very important for brain growth and neurocognitive outcome. And I think the most important part is don't undernourish your infants. Thank you. Thank you.